So for this next book, what we're going to do is have a read through Creatures of the Id. And uh, this book is the first appearance of Madman. Um, the guy's name is, the character name is Frank Einstein, which is a mix of Frank Sinatra and Albert Einstein. The reason being because he's, uh, well, he's pretty cool and um, he's a genius. He's, he's super smart. Um, he's uh, super fast. Uh, he's got clairvoyance. He's he's got diviner powers. Uh, he's he's got superhuman agility. And um, this guy, Madman, was created by Mike Alred in 1990. And this book is from 1990. And as far as I know, the print run for this book is pretty low. I think. Uh, um, last time I checked, I think it was around 3,000 copies, but um, you know, don't take my word for it, it might be more. I don't think it's any less, that's pretty low print run. And um, it's one of the, it's a very cool character and it's been around since 1990 and Mike Alred and others, um, I believe others have uh, have done stories with, uh, with Madman. He did a crossover with a Superman comic once. Uh, so I'm pretty sure someone else wrote him, or could have been Mike Allred. Um, and uh, this is basically his first appearance. So we're going to have him read through it, flip through the book. He's got a couple of other stories in there as well. Uh, but we're just going to basically read uh, the Madman story. Um, because it's one of my favorite characters from the 1990s. And it's an independent character. And it's still around. Um, and they still keep on producing stories with... Uh, um, with Mike uh, from Mike Alred and others writing it and um, this is the most recent one that I picked up it's a 3d madman comic uh, what does it say here it says in your face 3d special starring Frank Einstein and it's got glasses in it so let me crack this open And we're not gonna we're not gonna read through this. I just want to show you how intricate the comic books have gotten. Um, how serious! I mean, take a look at this thing. This thing's it's a thick book. It's three D. It was pretty expensive. The price tag on this thing was uh, nine dollars, ten bucks, uh, right? Ten dollars, but it's a lot of bang for your buck considering. And it's got three D glasses in there that you can push out. Uh, from here you can just push out right and grab it and read it and it's got his madman uh, logo on there with his face right and it's a 3d comic and it's she swore the creators on this color by uh, Laura Alred I believe that's uh, Mike Alred's wife and um, created written and illustrated by Mike Alred so it is Mike Alred doing the whole thing I haven't read through this one yet um it looks super cool i mean i'm not sure if it's pretty coming up pretty good actually uh on the camera and they're not in uh, looking at it without the 3d glasses even with the 3d glasses it looks pretty cool and i mean look at that it's trippy and it's it's really zany and he's got a lot of uh, cool toys like he uses yo-yos and uh, he's super agile he's and he's super smart he's got again he's got he's super fast reflexes and the and these are some pinups pretty cool huh wow look at that looking forward to going through this actually look at these pinups beautiful work absolutely beautiful so what we're gonna do, and right now we're in 2014, so this thing came out at the end of 2014. Um, so what we're gonna do is go back 20, uh, 24 years and have a read through Creatures of the Id, the first appearance of Madman. And it's black and white. Um, and uh, I believe that was the only appearance of uh, madman as black and white i'm not 100 sure on that actually um his i believe his second appearance was in uh, graphic music graphic music and this one is in color and let me just flip through this one too and just show you what it's 
what the next progression was from Creatures of the Ed, and then we'll take a look at Creatures of the Ed. So this is music, graphic music, and it's uh, done by Mike Alred again. Um, and this is a pretty nice, uh, it's a pretty nice copy. Uh, as far as grading goes, I would grade this as, uh, ah, it's, it's around an eight. Okay, and it's color. All the stories, right? Just a progression. Oh, nakedness, and it's got a really, uh, really interesting and weird the villains and what really defines um, comic books or superheroes in general is who their uh, adversaries are, who the super villains are, uh, like Batman. You know he's he's cool and stuff like this but what's really interesting about batman is all the villains he faces uh they really define who batman is um for madman it's a little different madman is he's got zany characters he's got zany uh villains uh fighting zany villains but he is actually very unique um and he's a very interesting character and fun to read uh always taking you on a little ride so let's crack this one open and have a read through Creatures of the Id. Okay, this is it there. So this, uh, this book, it's got a little bit of uh, you know spots on it creases on it um, it's not bad shape but it's medium high grade I would probably give this a seven or so as far as grading goes uh, still appealing that's good enough and it's been red you can tell it's got a little bit you know where people flipped it and it's uh, it's good nice collectible for me it's the only issue i have of this um uh, again we'll take a look at uh, the fine print what does the fine print say um creatures of the id number one published by caliber press and it's got their address and their plymouth uh, minnesota i guess am i uh, and this has got three different stories and the trains of thought uh, stories 1990 again jerry lang uh, the next story is civilization and it's discontent uh, and again Jerry Lang um, the third story is for the record uh, again copyright 1990 and it's M Dalton Alred that's Mike Alred and that's the story we're gonna read and uh, what we're gonna do right now is just sort of flip through it uh, so you get a feel for what a seriously independent uh, 1990 comic book look like it felt like the paper quality is uh, you know it's not as good a quality as uh, what's being printed right now and this story is mainly uh, images mainly panels laid out so we're just gonna flip through this uh, speedy gonzalez style and uh, just have a look through it and then get to the third story of uh, madman frank einstein oh look at this guy scary oh look at all the creatures all around it this is like a Twilight Zone episode. Um, I mean, I believe it was um, the Star Trek uh, Captain Kirk uh, that was in that Star Trek episode uh, where uh, in the Twilight Zone episode, it was Outer Limits, I believe. Maybe it was Twilight Zone or Outer Limits where he's riding on a plane and there's a gremlin uh, in a storm ripping the plane wing apart and trying to make the plane crash and he goes crazy um, in it and this sort of is reminiscent of that to me anyway 
Look at all the creatures coming in. Uh, civilization and its discontents and this was published uh, Lang, Alred and so Mike Alred actually worked on this one as well actually let's see if Mike Alred worked on this one uh, written by Jeffrey, Jeffrey Lang art by Mike Alred M. Dalton Alred so Mike Alred actually did the art for this as well. Ah, that's why it's fairly consistent. Ah, look at the eyes in the background. Eh? I didn't notice that before. The teeth. The eyes and the teeth instead of the stars. Mike Alred's work's brilliant. He's one of the one of the greatest comic book creators um, of all time, really. Uh, one of the best anyway. Uh, up there with uh, some of the greats. And he's been very consistent and he stayed true to his form and the art for this is uh, Mike Alred as well I don't know the story of this one I haven't read this one yet short story right and here is Frank Einstein in for the record and the story of uh, madman um, Frank Einstein is that he got into a car accident and he died and he was resurrected by well I guess a mad scientist you could say and the mad scientist uh, you know like this creation and named him after Frank Sinatra and Albert Einstein uh, Frank Sinatra because I guess he thought it was cool cool cat and Albert Einstein because uh, madman is a genius he's uh, um, He's very smart and he's he, he has superhuman abilities he he divines he can touch objects and feel their history uh, and he's got a lot of cool toys and he's got a lot of cool toys so let's read everything in this the issue um, by Michael Alred Bernie M Maru, Maru Laura Alred uh, Mike Alred and his wife okay if you can take a look at that So, what is this story about? Music world. Uh, sale. People can be so, people can be so mean, and he's very emotional. Madman. He's got tears coming down. He's crying. So, of course, the character was developed after Frankenstein. Um, right, sort of a mix of Frankenstein. He's got the scars and the bolts sticking out of him. Ah, uh, so what is this? Music world. People can be so mean, Madman says. I've been to the record store at least twice a month for three months trying to get a record I ordered. It may be my imagination. It may be my imagination. Maybe I'm making something of nothing. But when I ordered it, I looked normal. I hadn't had my accident. Come on, Pilgrim. The Pixies? Okay, no problem. That should only take a, took, take a week to ten days. So he orders a record. The Pixies. Now when I go in, they say no, nope, not in. Without even looking, sometimes they just ignore me since the accidents. Since the accident. Nope. Uh, excuse me. The accident so he doesn't look uh he's all scarred up so they're ignoring him you can see sweat coming off the the clerk's face right there hmm. ah the accident so here are the panels for the accident car goes over a cliff cop shows up looks in and oh the cop takes him to a doctor brings him out there explaining what's going on the doctor operates wow. 
The scalpel comes up, blood given. I guess maybe the the cores are part of the umbilical cord for a newborn. Interesting, and all the wires maybe that he's connected to. Ah, he sees the lights, he sees the doctor. Ooh, he brings the brain. Check this out. He takes his brain out just like Frankenstein. The imagery. Touching the father. He's operating, sewing him up. That's from, uh, I believe, Michelangelo's uh, uh, painting with uh, the human being, man reaching out just casually and God reaching towards them. And he gives them electricity shock and madman is born. check out the rest of the story so going back to the present right I noticed them make fun of people less perfect than themselves now that's what I call but ugly oh they're talking behind them ha look it's the refrigerator repairman oh they're making fun of the refrigerator repairman look like crack in his butt Oh, um, uh, that record you keep, keep asking for? I'm pretty sure we can't get it. Oh, so they're dismissing him. Well, could you please check? Madman says, the clerk, look, we don't have it. Look, we don't have, we don't have to check. I know we don't have it. Come back in a few months, or maybe some other store can get it for you. Oh, what a bunch of bad people. And here's a record right there with a sticker on him. Special order for F. Einstein, the Pixies. Come on, Pilgrim. Oh, they have it right there. Hmm. Man, that pisses me off. It's got to be in by now. If they just check, I'd never come here again. Perfectly Perfectly primped peps. Oh, that guy creeps me out. Look at him talking about him. What's the problem? Okay, I'm not the best looking guy in the world. Wow, he's got serious scars. He's got a little bolt sticking out of him. I've got intelligence and heart. Yeah, yeah, who's heart? I've heard a lot of jokes. I've heard all the jokes. I've compromised. I've got intelligence and heart. Yeah, yeah, who's heart? I've heard of, I've heard all the jokes. I've compromised. I've tried hats, turtlenecks, and scarves. Not too practical in summer, and why should I hide anyway? So he's got the hat on, puts on the turtleneck, look at this weather going up. And why should I try to hide anyway? He's right. Why should he try to hide? Yeah, why should I hide it? People who are different should be celebrated, not outcast. Beauty is in the beauty is all in the mind. I ought to know since my I ought to know since my afterlife experience I've developed a gift, a talent, a kind of psychic touch. So here's explaining his psychic power, showing his brain. Look at all the electricity going around. So this is sort of an origin. Well, I guess, yeah, this is an origin story as well. So he continues. It's a scurry thing. It's a scurry thing where I can touch people and read or distort their thoughts. Oh. The real me is in a boat sailing away. But bodies are just vessels to sail through life in. Unfortunately, more often than not, you're judged on your vessel instead of your crew. Hm. 
That's one of the beauties of comic books. They analyze life, give it to you as it is, right? First place. Let's take a look at this one. I shouldn't whine. I don't have it so bad. I saw a man once. His whole nose was missing. He didn't try to hide it. Whoa. The guy's nose is missing. Check out the sign. Sign licked oranges. Sun licked oranges. 40 cents a pound. And my old friend, Charlie. This is an old example, but very important. If he took his family to a restaurant, in some parts, they wouldn't get served. Uh, they're black miss niggers. Sick. Wow. Right. What's the girl's name? The waitress. Oh, can't read the name. Shallow brain mold heads. With a touch, I could send them on a mind trip they wouldn't soon forget. Ah, look at what he's thinking worms creatures just with the touch you could do it even torture wow look at this one shark coming up to you Ooh, tongue stuck in a vice and the sign here on the girl says, Miss Perfect. Oh, she's coming over with a knife to cut the, cut the tongue off. <laughs> says Madman. <laughs> no, wait, I know. Something that could really shake them up. Something their narrow minds couldn't take. He's thinking about doing bad things to them. Oh, make him look ugly. The hair falling out, make him look fat. Make him look diseased. Yes, perfect, madman says. He wants revenge. Oh, great. Look what's coming back call an exterminator so they're still talking about him so madman touches her touches her anyway the clerk i think that's the first clerk she thought he talked to hey she says hi could you please check on a special order for frank einstein uh instead of making them look ugly he made himself look super pretty she's in love with him now Oh, he's so dreamy. I never realized what a fox that guy is. Question mark. Yuck. And he gets his record and walks out. Ah, so what? Got my record, didn't I? <laughs> what? A moral? I'm not sure what that refers to. It's this simple, folks. Be good to each other. If others aren't good to you, maybe you can at least give yourself solace in knowing you've got the character to be your best. Screw them. Awesome. Really awesome. Some of the greatest stories in, uh, in comic books. Some of the greatest human stories really are told in comic books. Fantastic stuff. And this is the next issue, I guess. Graphic music is a classic act and a delight. Lyrical text, fine, clean art. Oh, this is Neil Gaiman who's written this. Check this out. It's a review by Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman is uh, one of the greatest writers uh, in comic books. He's the one that wrote uh, Sandman. Uh, created, you know, revamped Sandman and came up with one of the 
greatest series ever, The Eternals and stuff. Uh, fantastic. I didn't, I didn't read this before. Uh, so let's read the whole thing. Graphic music, which is uh, what I showed you before. This guy, right? Graphic music. This is number one, issue number one. Uh, graphic music is a classic act and a delight. Lyrical text, fine, clean art both contributing to M. Dalton Alred's mediation on music, time, and what it means to be human. No one else is doing anything like it. Ah, fantastic, fantastic, really. The comic book that asks the big question, who am I? Why am I me and not you? Where does time begin and space end? What's for dinner? Zany, zany, zany. In stores, November from Caliber Press in full color, neato version. Right. And this is, um, I believe, this image. If you're into old uh, movies, this image is from a all black and white movie. I think one of the first sci-fi movies that came out where um, people are traveling to the moon uh, and they land on the moon. Uh, Oh, he's given us the most important words. Well, it's not Madman, actually. It's this character right here. And we get to see him in uh, Music Graphic. So what does he say? Let me give you the most important words of advice I know. Be nice to everyone, always. As nice as you can, no matter what. Because there's more to gain. Fro. Ah, skip it. I'm rambling. And there's music playing there are times when I feel I'd rather not be the one behind the wheel I got to tell and what is a madman saying I got to tell you this is all a lot to take in you say this is real life so he's asking a question super cool Mike Alred hmm, what's this Mackenzie Queen So here's a little bio for Mike Alred. Mike Alred first appeared in the comic scene with his graphic novel, Dead Air. Since then, he has produced graphic music for slave labor. And that's uh, it's different than this one, um, graphic music. The spelling is different. And I have some of the issues of this as well. Uh, graphic music for slave labor. Uh, and they're super hard to find. Um, for labor graphics and has a series of uh, comical called Jaguar stories. I don't have any of the Jaguar stories. He is also working on one shot for Epic Comics and with his wife Laura doing the all new color series of graphic music for Caliber Press and that's the this one he's talking about. Okay and there's four issues of this and I right now I only have three of them I'm missing one I'm missing number two so that's why I haven't read this one yet I'd like to read them all in the sh all in a row uh, from Caliber Press in December like the hero and here's my calorie it should we open this up so you see the whole flip thing sure let's open this up and here it is creatures of the end 